it smells like spring is in the air. It actually doesn't. I was like, what, what? I didn't know how to answer. I was like, well, I can smell pasta and I can smell coriander, but I don't know what you're going for, so I I'm going to be quiet. I smell springtime coming. Okay. And because spring is coming, I need to use up a whole bunch of winter veg. Mm -hmm. All right? Because let's get ready for the spring veg. So on my table here, let me just show you what we've got. Because I got a lot. This is Swede, courgettes or zucchini. What, celery. What's sweet in America? Rutabaga. Rutabaga. Okay. And we have some parsnips. We have carrots. We have sweet potato. We have leeks. We have onions. We have mushrooms. We have green, fresh green beans. We have red pepper. We have coriander. We have pasta. And we have some chickpeas. My goodness gracious. Let me see. How many did we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen ingredients. Fantastic. It's going to be fabulous. I was going to do it in the um, fast cooker, fresh cooker, but I got too much veg here. <laughs> and I'm cooking for the food bank. So You haven't said what you're making. I'm going to tell them in a minute. <laughs> if I got a pot this big, what does it look like? Well, it could be a stew. Soup. Well, it could be a stew. That's I'm it. making my own kind of minestrone soup okay so my version and so let's get cooking because this is going to be quick is this vegetarian it is vegetarian is it vegan um yes yeah, vegan oh, okay because it will be no um no dairy no dairy and as long as this pasta doesn't have egg in it any egg. Well, it doesn't really matter you can basically what we're saying is if you want to make this as a vegan you can just make sure your ingredients don't have yeah it, it contains gluten but that's it cool okay so no yeah it's fine so first thing first we're going to get us some olive oil i'm going to put it in the bottom of my pan my pot okay well while the olive oil is heating you can and do all here in the wonderful world of Mama Cherry. We want you to join the family. Come on, like, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell and you won't miss a single sec, sec, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Video? Section. Minute? Minute? Second? Second. Oh my word. That was the word. Oh my word. You will not miss a second oh my of word. what we're trying to put out there. See, even the mama makes a mistake, but I just keep on going. Bye on. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, so let's get some love dust in there. Now, everything is chopped up, so this is going to make this one so quick. But let me show you guys. Let me just put a little bit more oil. It's in front of me. Now I've finished that. Right. But i got to get some more, but I'll put just, just some vegetable oil, which is fine. Okay, so we're looking here. See my love does? Okay, stay still. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, straight to that, we're going to add the onions and the leeks and the sweet potato and the carrot and the parsnips and the sweet. Now, can you, I think, Katrina, you, can you tell me? What you think I've added here and why? I mean, why I've added these well, You've added these ones first because of the, well, the onions, because they need to grow translucent and they're going to flavour the dish as well as the leeks. But those yes. are the dense ingredients. Yes, because. So they're going to take longest to cook. They're going to take a little bit longer, but look how. Let's just get that stirred up. So we're putting that on and we're just going to let that soften a little bit. Now, presumably, if people had, had wanted to use white potatoes, they could use white potatoes. You could potatoes use white potatoes as whatever. well. It's just that it was starting to get. <laughs> My whole thing was getting very full. Now, I'm going to cut up some coriander. Now, my coriander is actually going to go in at the last minute so that you get that freshness to the soup. And I've just realized I'm forgetting something. Celery? No, I got celery. Oh, over there and get me that tomatoes. I've oh, got yeah, some you need tomatoes. tomatoes. Absolutely. And I've got some here. I'll hold the camera. Just bring it. See here, this is some of my homemade tomato sauce that I made a while ago, and that's just the liquid. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to be using for this soup is the liquid okay. to add to it. So you basically also, you strained it and then... I'm just straining, I'm just leaving it and letting the water come out mm -hmm. because this 
I'm going to be using, I'm making some meatball subs. So I want this pulpy part to go in with my meatball subs. Okay, so did, uh, is that from the roasted tomato um, yes. video that you did? so did? just go to the roasted tomato video and you'll see. <laughs> it's going to be this. Click the eye, basically. It's going to come up now and you can get to that recipe now. Okay, but I'm just going to, but look at here. But look at all of that goodness mm. that's coming out. But because it's quite watery, I don't want the watery part in my sub, mm -hmm. but I want it for my soup. Fantastic. Okay. So let's just stir this. Nice. So this stage. It's starting to, I'm going to now add my celery and my courgette. I'll bring it over to you guys and show you in a minute. And let's get the red pepper. Oh shoot, let's get it all. <laughs> Ain't no messing about. I'm going to bring it over to you guys so you can see. So, look at here. Basically guys, if you've got veg bits in your fridge that need to be finished just throw whatever you want. Throw it all in because in. this is two carrots and they were small ones, two parsnips, no, no one, two parsnips yeah, one baby sweet, um, sweet, one stalk of celery, a handful of green beans that I had left over. Yeah so it's just all the you know ends, odds and ends. Yep. Now what I'm going to do here Let's move this over. I'm now just going to add that fresh and I'm going to put this back onto the stove just to cook up this in that. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. So we're going to leave that and that's just to soften. Once that gets softened, I'm then going to add my chickpeas. I'm going to add my pasta because the pasta only takes about eight minutes or so to cook. Mm -hmm. And I have here, oh! some vegetable stock that I made earlier. Excellent. Is that just using peelings and stuff? Peelings and um, bouillon cubes and just to get, and that's going to top it up. So I'm going to add that just prior to adding the pasta. Okay. But we just need this just to cook down. So we'll come back to you when that's soft. Have a look at this. You can see it's cooking up rather nicely and it's starting. It's probably going to steam. Yeah, I know. But you can stop. Stirring up and maybe get a focus. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I'm going to at this stage add my stock. So how long has that been on for Ma? How long has it been? Quite okay. Well, about 15 minutes. Okay. So we're gonna add our stock here. And I'm gonna add just a touch more tomatoes and these are just chopped tomatoes okay move that about I notice you haven't added any salt or pepper or anything to it hold up let's see there mm. okay I'm putting some salt in I'm putting salt in I'm putting a touch of sugar in now oh yeah because tomato. of tomatoes yeah so here's my salt Gonna add a touch of sugar. Remember, I've already got I've got some hurt. I put a lot of salt. There's a lot of salt goes into your stock. Yes. That's why I don't. I traditionally I don't like adding a lot of salt because some people are sensitive to salt. Mm -hmm. So I believe if you're gonna make up a stock, you put your salt in there and then you test it mm -hmm. before you add more. Cool. Okay. So. Is this now everything is really starting to cook nicely and I want a little bit of bite so I'm gonna add that pasta right now. Oh, okay. All right. Hold Get on. me the pasta. Yeah, I'll have it for you. Got the chickpeas. Um yeah, and the chickpeas. Alright, here. So I'm just gonna open up Oops. this tin of chickpeas. The drain off.
Now, you know, if you're a vegan, the water from a chickpea is really good for a substitute for egg. Is that for like cakes and things? Well, you could use it in cakes and things, but it's just, yeah, it's just a good thickener. Yeah, to, rock, to, rock, to make things rise and things. Yep, there we go. Here we go. So let's just get some of those chickpeas in. This is going to be delicious, I think. And now, I'm just going to add these little ones, okay? Little tiny ones. Now, what I don't want, let's see, I, I think I'm going to probably just put a half a bag mm -hmm. because what I don't want to happen is for it to blow up so much and it just be all about the pasta. Yeah. The pasta is just meant to be an accent, isn't it? There we go. See how that looks? Oh, the dish. Yeah, lovely. You knew I was. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'm going to put in just a touch of my chili flakes. So let's just let that cook now. I'm going to put some garlic salt in. <laughs> you know me. If I see it, I'm going to use it. <laughs> a little bit of garlic. And now let's just let that go. Cool. Okay. So I'll come back to you at the end. Do you cover it or do you leave it no, open? I'm going to leave this point. one open now. Okay. All right. Fantastic. So welcome back. Look at my minestrone. Minestrone? Minestrone soup. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh, lovely. Look at that. Look at all of that. That's good. Just goodness. So the last bit to go in it is going to be my fresh coriander. Mm -hmm. And like I say, I don't like to, I don't want to, with this kind of a soup, I don't want to cook it at the beginning because then it just cooks it through. And what I want is that hit of freshness. So let's just, just get this chopped up. And if people don't like coriander, presumably parsley, if they wanted to, yeah, leave it out. Yeah, or leave it out. Well, remember, this is whatever veg you want yeah, to throw in it. odds and sods. And, you know, and at this point, this one has, um, I think we're up to 12 different <laughs> veg. <laughs> 13, I think. Yeah, so it's pretty good. Talk about, so, you know they say you have to have five a day? <laughs> well, you can eat one bowl and you got your set up for three days. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. So let's just get this. Oh, yes. That's a really hearty soup. That's a lovely soup. And a lot of the soups that I have been doing have been like creamed ones. Like mm. I do a carrot and lentil. I've been doing potato, um, potato um, celeriac soup. But I haven't actually done just a proper veg soup. And here we go. Yeah. So people... Come on, taste it. You need to taste it. Let me get you a spoon. I've tasted it. I oh, know, but they, they like to see you taste They need it. to just believe. <laughs> Y'all yeah. need to believe. Oh. When I say it's good, <laughs> it's good. You ain't got to see me taste it. I like to Because if I it. taste every single thing I make, I ain't going to be able to fit through the door. How can you be a chef and not taste your food? I taste as a go. I going. know, I'm joking. And I'm not showing them as it tastes as a go. All right, here we go. I'm getting a little bit of this. Because I want to... I want a few, yeah, there we go. I want a few things with it. Come on, I want a bit of pasta with it. There we go. All right, let's get over here. <laughs> Mom, please don't try and make it seductive. Stop. Don't make it weird. How is it? <laughs> Hot. Give it here. Mmm. 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 Now I'll finish it off. Mmm. It's good. It's fresh. It's just very fresh. Mmm. -mm. Nice. Uh oh. What are you checking for mushrooms? I didn't get any. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to know what I just did. <laughs> she did do. She can't eat mushrooms. But that's delicious. Yeah. Lovely. So, a little bit of peace. Whole lot of love and soul. From the minestrone mama. Minestrone. Minestrone, well, <laughs> minestrone. 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 Potatoes, potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Latatos. It's good. <laughs> Goodbye. Minestrone. <laughs>
cook's fingers, I'm used to this kind of stuff, okay? Use a spoon. It's gonna be like rubber. 